Okay, I just want to show everyone real quick how system performance can affect design space and the stability of design space. I am working on a small project. It's just fonts that I've inserted and made some modifications to, some the Samantha font. And I started to zoom and scroll around on my screen, and all of a sudden, as you can see, I'm scrolled all the way to the far left and the top left, but my ruler is not there. And if I zoom out, I seemingly can't get back to my project, which is all the way in the top left. So it's being real finicky. You can see that it's not refreshing the screen properly and everything. And so when this happens, every time I have an issue with design space not performing properly like this, I'll open my task manager in Windows and you can open your task manager by right clicking on your taskbar at the bottom and choosing start task manager or you can click start and run and you can type in TASKMGR and click OK and it will bring up your task manager as well. When I look at my performance tab in task manager I'll see that I'm using 6.8 gigabytes of RAM. My system as you can see here has 8 gigabytes of RAM, so I'm using quite a bit of memory in my system right now, and performance is really slow. If I go to my Processes tab, I can click on, I can adjust these little columns so I can see everything better, and I can click on a column to sort it from lowest to highest or highest to lowest. And if I do that, I can then see what processes are using the most memory. And as you can see, I have several sessions of Google Chrome open. I happen to use Firefox most of the time for design space because I use Google Chrome for a lot of other things, and I also have a personal issue with how some of the printing with Chrome and Print Then Cut works with Design Space, so I tend to use Firefox almost exclusively unless I have a specific issue I need to get around. And as you can see, all these other things I'm doing with Chrome is using a lot of memory. I have one session of Chrome that's using about almost a gigabyte of RAM. There's one, two, three, four, five that are using almost 300, so there's probably total close to 2.5 gigabytes of RAM being used just by Google Chrome. Uh, if I add up all these other little sessions, probably even more than that. So what I can do is I can go close Google Chrome, or I can also kill those processes here by right-clicking on one and clicking in process. And it'll ask me to confirm. And when you do that, you'll get a screen, something like this, that says, hey, J he's dead, Jim. Um, and uh, just kind of closes out whatever you have open in Chrome. So I'll go ahead and close those out, and I'll start closing all my other sessions of Chrome that I have open. And if I go back to my performance tab, you'll see that I've freed up more than three gigabytes of RAM by doing this. Now if I go back to Design Space, now if I go back to Design Space, and I've saved my project, so I'm just going to hit Refresh and tell it to leave the page, and it should load my project back up and it come back up and design space should be functioning a lot more smoothly now that I freed up all those resources on my computer and there are the very various pieces of my project coming in so again I just wanted to make this video to make everyone aware of what goes on in the background on your computer can have a lot of adverse effects on design space and other applications even though you may not see them in other places I could do other things on my computer when I was using all that RAM and everything else seemed to be okay but, um, you know, the, the system performance was getting pretty low. And, uh, you know, I was, again, I've freed up about three and a half gigabytes of RAM. And now I can open up Google Chrome and it'll probably be fine for a while. I'm not picking on Chrome or anything. On my system, it seems to use resources once it's been open for a while. And uh, it works well for a lot of people. I use it for 99% of my browsing and don't have any issues but other things can do the same thing. I could open Photoshop and leave it open and it'll eventually be up to using five or six hundred megabytes of RAM just by letting, letting it set and leaking that memory until I close it or kill the process. Hopefully my video has been helpful to you. If it has been please subscribe to my channel and by all means please share my videos.